Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the trading board that I mentioned in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that one, I will leave a link to that in the description below and I do suggest you watch it first because it will show you how to set up the board. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you new features and updates such as laddering your positions and the new user interface. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. Okay, so when you go to the website crawl.com, I will leave a link to everything down in the description below. Then if you scroll down, you will see this section automated trading. So you can either click on uh, start trading and it will take you directly to the app or you can click on learn more and it will show you a bit more of what the app is actually doing. So you can see that it's trading USDT pairs and also inv uh, inverse pairs and that you can ladder your positions and add take profit and stop loss and also the flipping and so on. So I'm just going to go over to the app now and I'm going to show you a few things there before we start using it. Okay, so now that we're on the app, you will need to have an account first. So if you don't have one yet and you don't know how to create one, watch the previous video because that's going to show you how to set it up. So then you can go to the trading section and this is where you'll be opening your USDT or inverse pairs. So uh, you can either use the app itself to open up your trades or you can uh, use these inputs and then you can copy the syntax for trading view where you can either automate an indicator or a trading strategy and so on. So we're just going to go through what is required right here and um, so we're going to start off with the token and I just want to re remind you that you should not share your token because it is connected to your API keys. So if someone have access to your token they can actually trade on your account. So you would need to have a direction set either you want to go long or short then you select buy or sell. So let's say we want to go uh, buy and the symbol it needs to be in uh, capital letters so let's say btc usdt so quantity is going to be the percent uh, of your wallet so let's say you have a thousand dollars in there and you use 50 percent then it's going to be using uh, 50 percent of that thousand which is going to be 500 dollars so uh, let's say 50 and then you need to have leverage so if your leverage on bybit is set on cross it will swap it automatically to isolate it so I'm going to be using 10x leverage. Then for take profit, if you don't want to use a take profit or stop loss, you would need to uh, type in none and with a capital N. So uh, as it is right here, is basically you're not setting a take profit, but let's say I wanted to set a 1.5%, you would just use 1.5. Stop loss, we can use a one, and we're not going to be flipping the position. So we can't really flip the position at the moment because we don't have a position open. And this is going to be a USDT pair because the symbol is BTC USDT. So for this we're just going to go and uh, open our buy bit first and we can actually see it opening up the trade. So let me do that and we'll get back to this part. Okay so I'm going to be uh, putting these two side by side so you can see what's happening. Um, and I will be deleting my tokens afterwards so don't even try to copy it so I just want to mention that but uh, I've already filled this out and now I have my buy buddy on my left side so um, I'm just going to go and open and you'll see it's going to give me a confirmation message so it's going to say do I really want to open a trade and then when I click OK then it's going to be uh, executing the trade on buy bit. so uh, it's going to be using all the settings that I've used here so right here you can see the trade opened and you can see that it is a long position and that the leverage was a 10x and with the take profit and stop loss so uh, this is basically how you're going to be doing it and if you want to close it all you need to do is go to close and then you just want to uh, say that you are currently in a buy position so you need to add that and then you just want to add your symbol so we have the btc usdt one and just confirm you want to close so then it will be exiting your trade so similar things uh, will be happening on the trading view side so the trade has been closed but it's just going to be using trading view alerts so um, i'm going to be showing you how to do this on trading view and also what's happening i'm going to try to get instant alerts so we can actually see it firing alert and that it opens okay so let's say we want to open up a position on the buy signal from the indicator then what you want to be doing is you want to select your direction as a buy you want to use the BTC USDT, whatever amount of quantity you want to be using and then with your leverage take profit and stop loss. So this is going to be USDT trade. So 
So the first thing you want to do is you want to copy this uh, link, the URL uh, link, and then you want to go and create uh, a new alert. So we're going to be selecting the crawl mother load indicator and uh, the strong buy. I'm only going to do this one time, and then this is where the link will uh, be, be setting in. So I already have it in there, but you can just paste it right there. And then you want to scroll down on the app and you want to go to the syntax message and you want to copy that. So clear out whatever is uh, in there and you just uh, paste in the new ones. And you will now see that when a buy alert is going to be uh, going off, it's going to open a trade in our buy bit. Okay, so there's a signal that goes off and you can see we just opened the position right here in um, Bybit and it also has our inputs with our take profit and stop loss. So now you can either wait for it to reach one of the targets or you can just go into your trading and you can say let's close the long direction and it was a BTC USDT. So I'm just going to close that. And now you will see that it's actually just going to close our position on Bybit itself. Okay, so now that you saw how to open up a position using TradingView, the same things would apply when you're going either to short or if you want to close the trade. All you need to do is you need to change uh, the syntax message below. So if you wanted to go short, you just want to have your direction as sell. And for closing long or short, you just choose your direction as well and the symbol you want to do that on. Okay, so now that you saw how to open a position with TradingView and the app, you can do the same thing for shorts and also to close your position. All that you would need to do is basically just change the input and you would set it in an alert and whatever condition you want on TradingView. So for the next step, we're going to be looking at how to flip a position. So let's go ahead and use the app to open a position and you can flip it. Just keep in mind, you can also do this with alerts. All you would need to do is copy the syntax message and then paste it wherever you want to on TradingView. So either on an indicator or a condition itself, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using the app for now to make it simpler and a bit faster. So the video is not too long. So um, I'm just going to go and say we're going to open up a sell position. And again, we're going to be using BTC USDT. Uh, let's say we want to use 30% of our quantity. 10x leverage and let's say this time we only use a take profit and not a stop loss. So again we can't flip this position because there's not a position to flip yet. So let's first open the trade. And once the position is open you need to remember that you want to select uh, we are in a cell. So this is going to be a cell but we want to swap that into a long position. So as you guys can see right here we have currently a take profit set, but what if we want to enter a buy position and also have a stop loss? So this is basically uh, really simple. All you need to do is because the, the next trade is going to be seen as a, a separate trade, you can just go and say let's add a 0.5% stop loss and we're going to be flipping this to long. So because the direction of the trade is a sell, we want to flip to long and again it's USDT. So now uh, just keep, uh, keep your eye on this red line basically saying it's a short. So if you say OK, what's going to happen is it's going to use the quantity and whatever you've set and it's going to swap that into a long position. So it's pretty sweet and if you want to uh, basically remove a take profit and stop loss, you now have to do it on Bybit because the trade is already opened. OK, but let's say you want to swap again to a short. All you need to do now is the direction of the trade is no longer a sell. This is again a buy. So now you have to say buy and you want to flip to short. So let's say we want to uh, remove our take profit. We just type in none and we're going to OK. So now you're going to see it's going to close the buy position and it's going to uh, enter us into a short. So right there you have it. And now the take profit is going to be removed since we didn't set one. So as simple as that and if you just want to close this position so all you do is go to close and I believe this was a short position so we're just going to say direction sell with the symbol and then if you click OK and then it's just going to close that position for you. So as simple as that. The next thing you're going to be doing is taking a look at how you can set ladder positions for your trades. So to set ladder positions all you need to do is go to ladder 
and uh, just keep in mind that if you're automating this you need to change the webhook url to slash ladder and not slash webhook anymore so um, that's just all that you need to change the rest would be pretty much the same so i'm just going to show you different things that you can do now just keep in mind that uh, we are still doing updates on this but uh, as it is right now it is working we might add uh, new stuff such as take profit and stop loss with this as well but at the moment it's just going to be laddering your positions so let's say you want to ladder longs so you can go and select buy and we can select BTC USDT for example and the quantity you want to use to ladder so let's say you have again a thousand dollars and you only want to use five hundred dollars for laddering all you need to do is say fifty percent of your wallet so let's use 10x leverage and now we can set the amount of orders so the maximum orders you can set is going to be 10 uh, you can't go higher than that because it's not allowed on Bybit so let's say you want to set uh, 5 orders and the spread is the percentage from last price so let's say we have a 1 as a 1% spread it's going to be laddering uh, the positions from the last price uh, in 1% so uh, it depends on we have 5 orders and it's going to be spreaded by 1% each and now you can choose if you want to ladder up or down so whether you want the ladder to be going downwards and if price falls it's going to fill your buys or let's say it just uh, breaks out and you just want to keep on filling the buy positions so i'm going to be using down for this example and all you would do is uh, open it up and you will see this is going to be a conditional order so let's go to conditionals and as you can see right here it actually started placing our conditionals and um, if you want to close all of your conditional orders you just want to cancel them because they haven't filled yet or whatever you can just go to cancel ladders and you just need to give it the symbol so if we go to btc usdt we can cancel all of them and it will now be going away and if you want to do the same thing so let's say we want to go for a sell position you can either use down or up let's say we want to have up we want to have a uh, eight orders and you want to have a spread of 0.3 you can just go and type in there and once you submit it it will then fill your conditional uh, orders to the upside in a sell position so as simple as that and again if you want to close you just need to uh, do this again so that's basically how simple it is to use the the laddering positions and this is beneficial let's say you don't have a specific price you want to enter your uh, full amount with you can ladder into positions so let's say you have a support level where you want to enter long you can be setting a, a few long uh, ladder orders and as they fall you're basically just dividing your your trade so before ending this video i just want to mention that if you go to the website coral.com you will see that there's going to be a new section you can just click on trending crypto news and it will take you to this website and this is going to be showing you the latest cryptocurrency news every three hours and also make sure to join our discord server and if you have any questions you can either ask in discord or leave a comment on this video and i will make sure to answer it so thank you guys for supporting me and i will see you in the next video